What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Cloud Slayer channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today is April 1st, 2024. Um, you know, if, if anybody's going to be a fool, it might as well be me and post this video. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. But um, had a great weekend. Hope everybody had a, a nice, safe Easter, had some food with family. That's if you celebrate it. If you don't celebrate it, I hope you just stayed safe, stayed home, did whatever, normal day, right? And stuff like that. So, um, but... Anyways, uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about, you know, trying to stay positive as usual, right? Staying positive, staying away from those drugs and stuff like that. And, you know, um, I know a lot of times it can be tempting, you know. You see a lot of other people do them, um, especially if you have the itch from uh, doing, like, drugs in the past, right? You did, uh, you know, marijuana. You did a bunch of other things, right? Cigarettes. Uh, Caffeine's a big one. I, I cannot kick the caffeine, right? I'm always chugging some coffee at least. Um, if, if I, um, unless if I got like some energy drinks in hand, then, you know, I'm chugging the shit out of those things, you know? And <laughs> those things are no better than anything else, right? Uh, especially for, you know, what they do on the inside. There's a recent video I'd, I'd recommend checking those guys out. Uh, just just type in what what energy uh, what energy drinks do to your insides uh, here on YouTube, and I'm sure the first video it's probably going to be more recent. Uh, they'll explain more of you know <laughs> what those energy drinks do to your internals and stuff like that. And you know it, it sucks, but uh, the, even knowing that, I still continue to drink them. Right, <laughs> I still just do it. It's almost like that that show supersize me, right? And you know, you're like, oh, man, I, if I overeat McDonald's, I'm obviously going to be all, you know, whatever. But you know what? Fuck it. I still do it. <laughs> I remember my parents made us watch it. And, you know, they're like, oh, this is what's going to happen if you whatever. And then, you know, the, you know where we went for dinner? Fucking McDonald's. You know, some, some Burger King. <laughs> you know, like, what the heck? It was, was kind of weird because my mom wanted us to be kind of uh, conscious about that. But... Uh, we did go out quite a bit, you know, and especially growing up and stuff like that. I mean, she did cook. She cooked home cooked meals quite often, um, but we did go out to eat quite often as well. So sometimes she said it was cheaper than eating at home, which I don't know. Obviously, I didn't, but I didn't make the money. I was just a kid eating the food, right? I, I think I ate a lot, though, so... I remember sometimes I'd go out to the buffet, you know, we'd, all, we'd go to eat at the buffet as a family. Uh, we had more cousins with and stuff like that. And uh, I would like out eat everybody, even my older cousins. <laughs> I was like, hey, this kid's gonna be big. <laughs> so, um, but you know, it was, it was always fun learning, growing and uh, doing a bunch of stuff, right? Because when I was a kid, I wasn't, like I had a tremendous appetite, but I wasn't, I was never really like super fat or something, you know? Because uh, I, I spent most of my time outside playing uh, football, basketball, you know, uh, tag, whatever, with the, you know, neighborhood friends to, growing up down in the, the cities, uh, like Brooklyn Park, Brooklyn Center areas and stuff like that. I was always outside doing something, you know. And, you know, obviously when you expend a lot of energy, you have to have a, a, a tremendous amount of uh, source to pull from, and that, that would be a lot of food, right? Um, I guess for me, the definition of large amount of foods was probably different too. So um, sometimes I, I, I know you, you go back and you think about like what was a tremendous amount, and uh, even like nowadays you're like, it wasn't even that much, right? It just, that's what you perceived as like a lot of, uh, you know? And then over time, you, you gradually, you're able to eat a lot more or something, you know. Um, or when you start to get bigger, when, you're, when age starts to catch up with you or something, and you don't, you're not as active, you know. Like, whatever your reason is, you know, for being inactive, uh, depression, whatever, you know. There's a lot of mental stuff that goes with that stuff, you know. It, it's kind of, it, it weighs on people, and it, it prevents them from, uh, and allows them to make excuses to not do things, right? It'll, uh, it has, it holds them back, and sometimes they, they blame other people, right? And then, you know, it, it goes from there, and it, 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 it trends downwards. So it, it's an easy thing to fall into, you know, um, 
bad relationships, bad friendships, bad whatever ships, you know? And sometimes, uh, the, you know, I, I my, my buddy Matt, he talks about it, and he talked about how he got away from people and he thought that, you know, life was going to get better, that, you know, he got rid of the bad, the bad, but at the end of the day, uh, he forgot that, that uh, when he looked in the mirror, that that was also the source of why some of these things were happening, right? And I, I'd speak on that thing that, that as well, you know, because um, I was always pointing the fingers at other people too. And when I decided to finally look where those three fingers were pointing back at, then that's when you're able to make a change. That's when you're able to uh, do, you know, do something about it, you know? Uh, you got to recognize the problem in order for you to diagnose it and fix it, right? Or you diagnose the problem in order to fix it. Uh, almost like a doctor or something, you know? Um, you, you know, because uh, <laughs> I'm doing this 30-day bench press uh, program for Mark Bell, Stronger in 30 Days, uh, which I'm going to post after work today. After I get off, I'm gonna, I'll do that uh, week three, and then I'll have that video posted up for tomorrow. If anybody wants to check that out, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll have it posted anyway, so. But, uh, 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 you know, thanks for tuning in for those, for some of you. I'll try to do some uh, leg ones, but I don't, like, I don't do as much legs, leg things as I used to, uh, you know, especially at home. I usually do them at the, at the gym, you know. I, you know, they have all those laying down stuff, so. Uh, I'll have to think of some of my home work, workouts to do and uh, we can get, crack some of those out and, you know, get them posted anyways. I just, I just don't feel too comfortable trying to record at the gym uh, with all that other stuff with people not liking people recording at gyms, you know. Uh, understandable, whatever. They, they just want to be away and not worry about somebody recording them or something, you know. And, you know, I, I get it. I get it. So uh, I'd rather just... If I'm gonna make a video, I'll just shoot it in my garage, which I've I've been doing for some of those. So, uh, but I'm excited. I want to see if my my how much my bench press does jump up, and stuff like that. And you know, uh, we'll, we'll go from there, right? Uh, I I do plan on doing like a like a couple weeks off of doing other kind of presses, so that I'm a, I'm gonna allow my body to heal up, because you know when you bench press too much, that you know sometimes you'll plateau, you'll, you'll, you'll become stagnant. So you want to do different variations sometimes. Uh, it's not a bad idea, especially, you know, if you're stuck somewhere for a long time. Like, you know, I've been, there's many times where I've been stuck at a certain weight for long periods of time. And then I, I go and work different variations to get that as strong as I can, come back to it. And, you know, you feel refreshed. So I want to do like some decline presses to really give the shoulders some rest, but also to uh, strengthen the triceps a lot because when you just work that higher higher motion of that, you hit triceps a lot more. So, but anyways, you know, uh, t tune in for that. I, you know, I, I'm having fun with it. I always have fun lifting weights and stuff like that. But um, I brought in the gym mostly because it helped, you know, it, it's, it's, it's tough to get into, right? Uh, a lot of people procrastinate. They think about, uh, maybe I should do it. Maybe I should buy a membership or something. Um, but you don't have to. You just do it at home, right? You can do it at, you do it on your couch. You can do, well, not like sitting on your couch, but, you know, you can do workouts revolving around the couch, you know, like feet up on the couch and do uh, push-ups. You can do, um, like I do certain leg stretches from the couch, you know. Stuff like that it helps me with like really deep squats and uh, you know, uh, some rehabilitation for my knees. I put like my higher back up on the couch and then I do like a uh, single leg hip thrust, you know, stuff like that. And it's very challenging and that works, that works the hamstrings and your glutes and stuff like that. So I like to crack those out. I just, you know, you just turn on TV and you're doing that and you're just trying to be. You know, as quiet as possible while everybody's sleeping. Well, I do because it's when everybody's sleeping in my household. So, um, you know, try not to make too much noise, which I, you know, don't really. But except for when I'm spitting because I'm trying to get those reps out, right? Uh, and, you know, it, it's hard to get into because, you know, we, we think about that hard work that goes into 
doing anything, you know? You'd, you're like, oh, I want to get back shooting hoops again. I want to get back riding a skateboard. I want to ride my bike again. I want to insert here, you know what I mean? And then you think about what it takes to do those things, you know, playing guitar or whatever. It takes hours upon hours of practice to, you know, get, get used to it again, to start to make progress again, you know? And it, sometimes you just don't have fun with it anymore. So how do you make, make these things fun, you know? How do you make them fun for yourself and for those, those around you if you decide to, or if they decide to do that with you, you know? Uh, your son wants to learn how to ride a bike without training wheels. He wants to, you know, do, do something with you. And it, it becomes like a project with you, dot or two, whatever, you know? Same, same. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to get that engagement. It's hard to uh, make it so that the, you guys are not only making progress, but you guys are also having fun at the same time. Because a lot of times when, it's, when you're a kid, it's when you're having fun is when you're learning the most, when you're pushing yourself the most, you know, and becoming better at the thing because you absolutely enjoy it, you know. It's not work. When it's not work and it's fun, uh, then we're learning, we're going somewhere, right? Um, that would be the key. And, you know, I know sometimes we're doing it and then I'm like, you know, you can feel the tension in the air. Uh, there's frustrations at times and stuff like that. And then, you know, you're like, what's going on here? Like, you snap out of it and then you're like, dude, I'm supposed to be having fun. And then you're like, oh, I got to change my approach up. I got to change it. But how do you do it? You know what I mean? Uh, and then you, you know, you ultimately do because you make that recognition. And you're like, hold on, hold on, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, uh, start encouraging more. Start to, you know, <laughs> try to make it fun and make it more lighthearted uh, as, as that time progressed, you know. And it, it's tough. You can't really, you, gotta, you can't let them know that that change is happening. You just, it just has to happen organically, right? Uh, which... It's always easier said than done, but if, if, you, if anybody can figure it out, it's yourself, right? It's you, because especially if they're your kids, uh, they're going to they're gonna be highly responsive to that stuff, you know? They're going to know when you're, <laughs> when you're fake at the funk and when you actually mean it. So, uh, you know, you'll figure it out one step at a time. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great one. Um, I hope to see you guys next video. And don't forget to tune in to the... Uh, week three of the bench press program here next week's the fourth and final week before i i retest it the week after so uh, uh thanks everybody who's tuning in joining in on that journey and if you ever want to make that hit me up let me know um we can always make a journey together stuff like that right and uh till next time guys peace